Well, hey guys. I wanted to tell you a little bit about a project that I was involved with this summer and that came out this fall. Um, it's related to my, my autism advocacy work, I guess you could put it. Um, I was approached by somebody to consult with them on um, a story series, and I'll, ex I'll explain what it is. Um, the, the site is called Serial Box. Dot net and it's spelled with an S, S E R I L I A L B O X dot net. Um, what it is is like a new format for getting a story. So instead of getting the whole book, you get a chapter a week. It's almost like a TV series where you know they kind of leave you hanging each week and then you get a new chapter each week. And um, it's kind of cool. And they have a story called Tremontaine. And it's um, a prequel to the Ellen Kirshner Riverside stories. Um, and w how they did it was they had several different authors working on it. And um, one of the authors found me on YouTube and um, reached out about collaborating on it. And so I ended up contributing to, I think it was three of the episodes, three or four, and... Um, there's a character whose name is Micah, and she is a young girl who goes to university, and um, she like dresses up as a boy to be able to go to university. And have, it's like a sort of like an alternate um, universe. It's not universe, but like it's it's sort of like 1800s, but yet yeah, it's like an alternate real <clears throat> reality kind of thing. And so anyway, she goes to university and, and she dresses as a boy and is taken as a boy um, while she's there. And she has Asperger's. And so I consulted um, on the character. And um, so, yeah, I just wanted to tell you about the project. And it was really, really fun and honestly really rewarding because, um, one, I just I really enjoyed it. And I enjoyed working with the the author, but, um, you know, it was in a way, like, I felt like I was fighting for this character, you know, and, um, and, and it's super rewarding to be able to, like, really be a voice for people with Asperger's, including myself, um, and to fight against stereotypes and to help others have a more realistic understanding of the experience that we go through. I felt such a sense of like compassion for her and I really, not even consciously, but like I just wanted to bring out the sweetness and the softness, you know, because I think so much of us have just such a like real innocent and sweet, tender side and quirky quirkiness and, um, there's like a beauty and a warmth and a sweetness that I really wanted to bring out. Um, and, and then also, you know, like I said, just kind of break up some of those stereotypes. So, um, yeah, it was, it was a really, really fun experience and, you know, super creative. And, um, anyway, so I just thought I'd give you that update. I've been meaning to, but I've been super busy. So, um, if you're interested in it, check out the links below, um, serialbox.net, and you can, like, subscribe, and then you can download each episode and, um, read each one. Um, I will also note in the comments below which are the episodes that I worked on. I have to look it up. Um, yeah, and, you know, of course, I didn't have final say on all of this, and I, the other, other chapters I had no influence in at all, so please don't get mad at me if there's something you don't like, but... Um, I did, you know, look it through some of them, and and there were a lot of things that I had suggested. So, uh, yeah, I would love your guys' feedback if you end up reading it, and especially the chapters that I worked on, if you feel like that it was an accurate portrayal, and or if it was off the mark a little bit. So, thanks so much.